Hey, welcome back, rock stars. This is Dwayne Tyree down here at the Platinum Music Complex out here in North Richland Hills. Man, today on the show, we have Mr. Bishop Booker. Well, I've been with Emerald City for, well, I haven't done anything as long as this, uh, nine years. So nine years doing now. That, dancing and singing. Yeah, um, to the rocker people, I do dance and sing at the same time sometimes. <laughs> but no, that, um, I've been with them for uh, nine years. Um, with Dino and all of them watching that change and evolve into a newer version every year. Your own opinion, do you think Emerald City is the biggest party band around? That is a loaded question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you Much know, love to the I, rest of y'all. I, I'll put it to you like this. There are eight children in my that I'm responsible for on this planet, and they're fed. Um, I play... A hundred. There's been times where I played like 177, 180 shows in a year. Golly. Um, we go out of the country, go out of state, travel outside of the city. We fly there. We have hotels. We have our own room, and there's 13 to 14 of us. We're doing very well, and it's because Dino built this thing the way he did. If I were to compare it to others, respectfully, God, am I really supposed to answer this question? Damn. <laughs> I don't want to piss y'all off, but yes, it's it's got to be. The numbers are there. I mean, I'm about facts. And numbers don't lie. I'm not saying that we're better than certain people. There's always going to be somebody better than you individually. So, because I respect everybody as a musician, but yeah, man, Emerald City's biggest party band. I mean, it's top ranked four in the country, dude. That's awesome. If we do weddings, corporate events, we play for like governors and they played I haven't I didn't do it but they played the White House twice I got to meet Oprah Winfrey played in front of them shared the stage with like some really cool acts um it's kind of insane because I had no idea what I was getting into my first show was opening up for Zach Brown at the AT&T Stadium before it was named at the NCAA championship wow there was 55,000 people there and they told me it was going to be a parking lot party <laughs> so I show up it's 30 degrees outside it's freezing I'm like okay no big deal it's going to be a small stage it's a full concert stage and all 55,000 people in that parking lot are looking dead at them they're screaming they're wow. grabbing at my legs I'm like this is a cover band but whatever that's cool I love it man <laughs> the Drew Pearson show with, yeah. with Darren how did you get brought into that Cut back to 2003, I was a door guy at Sherlock's. And Darren is, was a friend of mine from back then. Cut to 2019, 2020, Darren calls me because some of the people that work on the, on the crew said, hey, why don't you call Bishop if you need somebody to come in and sing for the show? So a 20-year relationship from back in the day. Hadn't seen him since then. Wow. He calls me up and says, hey, why don't you try this? I'm like, I guess so. I'm not doing anything. I go up there, <laughs> sing a couple of bars, just do whatever. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. This is the Drew Pearson, and he's bringing on like major football guests on here. That was so cool, yeah, wasn't it? I was freaking out. <laughs> Drew was a really nice guy, respectful. We did charities for children with cancer and stuff like that. It was such a good thing. And being brought on there um, was life changing for me. I mean, that's helped me start empires and helped me think outside of the box of everything musically as far as what i could do yeah the show was really cool you know platinum was one of the sponsors so we got yeah. we got we got invited to come in and sit in on a couple of the shootings and it, it was amazing it was awesome it was so to see cool. there too yeah we had a like kind of a christmas one where they brought like santa claus and stuff and we had this um little kid on there and um he had cancer and he was a sweet little boy man and you want to you want to <sighs> man i can't believe i'm bringing this up he didn't make it and um, found out later on, but I really, you could see the joy in his family's heart from having him there. I actually remember that. And you remember that? And, mm -hmm. um, you know, he was tired, but I will never forget the energy that that family had for that boy. Oh, yeah. You know, um, you don't want to see that type of thing, but it's necessary. So you register your experience in life and your family and those that you care about and the struggles that you're going through might not even come close to that. Everybody's struggle affects them a different That's way. Right. That was war oh, yeah. that a lot of people lose. And for a child to lose that, for us to give him at least, you know, the hours that we were there to have some joy in the last months of Yeah, and he loved life. it. He did, he did. He got signed footballs. <laughs> yeah. 
I hugged him. He was a sweet boy. And um, that will that will forever stick in my heart. That one yeah, forever. I bet. That show spawned Empires. Because yeah. I, I guess Darren forgot that I sang rock music. <laughs> and so we were playing around doing a commercial break or something. And I sang a rock song. And he, his head popped up. He's like, hey, man, you want to go write some music? Like, yeah, sure. I don't know. <laughs> and it worked out. You guys have been knocking it out of the park, man. Thanks, brother. We appreciate it. So, the, so who all's your lineup in that band now? Uh, that would be a gentleman on bass by the name of Spencer. Uh, we have a PB, uh, Phil Bradley, on drums, and then Darren Wise guitar. So, man, it's it's good to have you Thanks, out here brother. at Platinum with us today, Thanks, man. Bro. So, uh, I love this place, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, and no offense to uh, Universal, because that's where a lot of us got our start. But this including is, myself, including yourself. As a matter of fact, all, a lot of beer and whiskey drank in those rooms. If you remember, if you can remember that, right? Um, and a lot of shit we can't talk about. Um, but <laughs> this is beautiful, man. I appreciate it. Upstairs, downstairs, sound quality in here is great. You've got options to go with the sound stage and the. And the in the area over there where you can actually film stuff in there, you can have put on a show, you have the award show here. The fact that you have a nice climate controlled place where you're not sweating your butt off while you're trying to rock. It's safe. You can walk in here and all the doors are locked. You have your key, you can get your code to get in. If you need to do something musically in this town, everything is right here in this spot. You can do a lot here, and and I like it. Absolutely. Hey, I want to thank you guys for joining us here at the Platinum Podcast out here in North Richland Hills. Keep on rocking. We'll see you soon. There's a concert hall in North Richland Hills that you can rent hourly. 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 North Richland Hills that you can rent hourly. Hourly. Rent, rent, hourly. There's a concert, concert hall, hall, hourly. At Platinum Music Complex in North Richland Hills. We've also got 140 rehearsal spaces, a recording studio, a podcast studio, a full jail movie set, and more. Go big, go platinum. Text us for more info. 